Yo, so today we're gonna go ahead and break down a melody for someone like Yeet or Lil Uzi and then throw some drums on it at the end. Alright, so before we start the video, all the sounds I use in the melody are from Sunboy's new one-shot kit called For You. He went ahead and sent me over a discount code to give to you guys, so it's Pineapple20 for 20% 20 off. As you guys know, his kits are my go-to for any kind of synth sound, and he's also been making tutorials weekly, so you should go check those out as well. Alright, so for the first sounds in the melody, I went ahead and used this synth called Fear, and overall it's just a really solid sound to get a good base of a melody go. So then here's the main MIDI for the melody, and as you can see, it looks pretty complex, but really it's just a two-bar chord pattern that repeats for the rest of the time. So if we go ahead and look a little bit more in depth in the chords, you can see that these are all fifth chords. So if we go ahead and look here, the D sharp is the root note, and then the A sharp is the fifth. And I went ahead and put that up an octave. This just gives you a really nice dark sounding synth chord, and it's really easy to do and duplicate with any other note in the scale. So using that sound, you can kind of get a good base of the melody going and then build off of that. So like I mentioned, all the rest of the chords are fifths too. So if we look here, we have a B, and then the fifth of the B chord would be an F sharp. So again, that has a really nice dark sound. And then again, continuing with the same theme, we have A sharp and then the F would be the fifth. But in this one, I layered a bunch of more A sharps. So there's three different variations at three different octaves to kind of give a fuller sound to end off the chord pattern. And then the only other noteworthy thing I did with the chords is for the last two, I added these chops. So it's a little bit more glitchy and overall just kind of gives a more interesting sound. So I went ahead and did Alt U to go ahead and chop that up to a section that I liked. And then I went down here to the velocity, selected the notes that I wanted to decrease in velocity then held right click and drag down to get a nice even sweep. So then again, continuing with the glitchy theme, all of the counter melodies or top notes in this are also using that same chopping up and declining in velocity. So if we go ahead and look here, everything is either going up in velocity and super chopped up, or going down in velocity and super chopped up. And to get those really fine chops, what I like to do is put a note down, select it, do Alt U, select the time that I like. So I'll just go with that for this example. Go ahead and select all of that, hold Alt and drag back so there's a little bit of space in between the notes. And then finally, like I mentioned before, right click and drag down to get a nice even sweep. So really these super chopped up notes just make the melody a little bit more unique and more interesting overall. So the final thing I wanted to mention with this melody is how I got it to flow together. So if we look here at this first section, you can see we have a roll going upwards of F sharp, C sharp and then D sharp. And then at the end, we have a roll of F sharp and then G sharp. So if we look here, it doesn't really make sense, but if we go ahead and look at where the chord pattern repeats, you can see that it makes a nice upward going roll. This way they just kind of mesh together and it feels like one continuous melody rather than a chord pattern restarting over and over again. So after I had that MIDI figured out, I went ahead and rendered that out twice. One of them got reversed and put grow speed on and then one of them remained the same. So I did add some effects before I rendered it out. So I started off with Shaper Box on the add high note preset, which is free with Shaper Box. Then I went ahead and added half time on the quarter preset with the smoothing turned all the way to FX. Next, a fruity love filter on the yuck yuck preset with the mix turned down to 25%. Then I added an EQ that's just a low cut to make room for an 808 later on. And then finally a pancake with the mix turned down to 50%. So like I mentioned before, I rendered out two versions of that. So if we go ahead and look here, this is the one that remained the same and I didn't chop up at all. For this second version, I went ahead in here and reverse it. And then I also went ahead and chopped it up so the chord progression stays the same. So then I went ahead and added additional effects to both of those. So for the reverse and gated one, I went ahead and start off portal on the close encounter preset with the mix turned down way low. Then I went ahead and added this gross beat preset, which is the half beat gate with the last two chops lengthened, and then the complex one preset. I added a reverb with the pre-delay, decay, and wet knob all turned up just a little bit. Then I added an EQ where I automated this knob to control the high cut of the melody. Next, I added an EQ that just cuts the lows, again, to just make room for an 808. And then finally, Pancake 2 on the opponent's preset with the mix turned down to 55%. And then for the version that didn't get reversed or chopped up, I only have a fruity love filter on the preset simple triangle low pass LFO. So then the final thing would be the automation clip that I mentioned when I was breaking down the effects. So this just goes ahead and cuts out the highs and I have it building up so more highs come in as the melody goes on, which overall just kind of gives it a little bit more energy. So overall, these melodies combine really nicely together and just give a good base to build the rest of the melody around. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Then for the next two sounds of the melody, they kind of work together to kind of accent where the chords start and end since the shaper box kind of lost that feel. So the first sound is a pluck called flexibility, again from that 4U one-shot kit. 
and I went ahead to the wrench and made it a little bit slidey by turning on Porta and upping the slide. And then the other sound is a synth called Loot from again, of course, that 4U one shot kit. And it's just a grittier sound that kind of accents the bass notes and gives the melody a little bit of texture. So then here's the MIDI for that pluck and it just goes ahead and copies all of the notes from the original MIDI. But I went ahead and took out all of the glitchy parts because I figured they wouldn't really work well in this pattern. So this is just a really simple pluck pattern that accents the chords and turning on the Porto function just makes it a little bit more interesting because each of the chords just kind of slide into each other. And then here's the MIDI for the Loot synth and like i mentioned before this just kind of accents the root notes to add a little bit of texture so it's going along the root notes and i actually ended up pitching the melody down by two so we're in c sharp minor instead of d sharp minor so this just goes along the root notes and then i added little chops with velocity controls on them to make it a little bit more interesting so then i went ahead and added some effects on those sounds just to make them sound a little bit nicer so on the pluck i started off with a fruity delay three just on the default preset then i added a fruity reverb with the pre-delay and decay turned up and the wet slider turned down next i added an eq just to clean it up a little bit and boost the low mids and then i went ahead and added one more eq just to completely cut the lows and then finally the last effect is just an imager to make it a little bit more wider and nice sound and then for the effects on the synth i kept it a lot more simple so i started off with thickify with pretty much every setting turned up and then of course i just added an eq to cut all the lows and then finally once you combine them together they go ahead and add a little bit more texture and just accent the chords so here's what it sounds like And then for the next two sounds in the melody, they're both leads. So I went ahead and start off with a lead called Bees, and this is probably my favorite lead from the entire kit. And then for the second lead, I went ahead and grabbed the lead called Top, and both of these don't really work together, but they accent different parts of the melody in different ways. So then here's the MIDI for the Bees lead, which is a little bit of a softer lead. And one thing I want to mention before we get into the MIDI is I went in here, went to the wrench, and the same thing as the Pluck, I went ahead and turned on the Porto and the Slide, but I also turned the Max to 1 and turned it on Motto, so it behaves just like a Serum lead would. So then here's the MIDI for the Bees lead, and I honestly don't know how I came up with with this I just kind of click it in by ear till I get something that I like but I know that I did try to stick to the notes next to each other in the scale for some portions of it just to give it that nice dark sound but overall this melody is kind of all over the place and the only noteworthy thing that I did was have these lower rolls that have a lower velocity that just kind of make the melody a little bit more interesting and then here's the MIDI for the top lead and overall I just kind of did the same process of just messing around till I found something that I liked but the one thing I did bring over from the other MIDI was those low slide notes so these are the same notes with the same low velocity velocity and I kind of expanded on it in this melody where there is some little variation rather than it just being the same thing repeated. Overall velocities is one of the reasons why one shots are so good and you have so much control over it. So then for the effects on those on the bees lead I went ahead and grabbed the same delay and reverb from the pluck. So we went ahead and have the fruity delay on the default preset with the mix turned down and then the fruity reverb with the pre-delay turned up the decay turned up and the wet knob turned down then i went ahead and grabbed an eq and just kind of cut out all the lows just to make sure nothing was clashing with the 808 and then finally i grabbed the default pancake preset and turned the mix down to 30 percent and then on the lead called top i kept it a lot more simple and just added one eq and this eq just kind of cuts the lows and boosts some of the highs but also takes some out so it's not too harsh so then once we go ahead and combine those together with the effects on them you get a really interesting and layered lead pattern so here's what it sounds like So then for the final sound in the melody, I went ahead and added a bass called Real, and I went ahead and messed with the out knob just to give it a little bit of a fade out so it's a little bit more interesting than just a constant bass pattern. So then for the MIDI, there's really not much explaining to do here. It just copies the bass notes, but then at the end of every four bars, I have a little chopped segment that's just a little bit more interesting. Overall, just to make the bass pattern just a little bit more interesting without it being super overbearing. And then I didn't end up adding any effects to this, so here's what it sounds like. So that's pretty much all there is for the melody, and then in the end I ended up pitching it down one, so now we're in C minor. So here's what everything sounds like all together. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty happy with the melody, and now we can go ahead and get started on the drums.
Alright, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. I'm pretty happy with how the drums are now. The only thing I might change is uh, switching out that perk for maybe a snare and maybe adding a roll or two. Uh, but this is pretty much how they'll be for the beat. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And uh, don't forget to use the code uh, PINEAPPLE20 for 20% off. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>